My name's Michael Burke. I was born in 1954, place of birth, Jamaica, Kingston. Originally moved from London, South London, Brixton, in 1975. The reason for me moving to Milton Keynes is because of housing. It was difficult to get for young people to get housing. My family, I am from a family of 10. Mother, father, seven boys and three girls. We, uh, we all lived in Brixton, South London, at Railton Road. My mother retired, I say retired, went back to the West Indies uh, when I was uh, 16, followed by my father when I was 19. And that's where the housing crisis for myself came into play. I needed a place to live. I went to Brixton Town Hall and I was encouraged to try Bletchley. There was no Milton Keynes as such, just a small town called Bletchley. Brixton, vibrant. MK was just a green blanket, but a green blanket of opportunity. I saw Milton Keynes as a place of opportunity and I took advantage of that. I'm a, I'm a plasterer by trade and with the uh, increase in housing being built, I became a plastering contractor, taking on uh, contracts such as 50 houses at a time, an extension to MK Hospital, an extension to the Open University, among many, many self-built and other projects. First impression of MK, one could say frustrating, but then you had to make things happen. You could not sit back and expect others to do it for you because it wasn't there. If you wanted anything uh, to boost what you knew in London, you had to create it yourself. There was no, no drawbacks at all in, 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 in all the realms of life that I encounter, or lives that I encounter in Milton Keynes, there was no setbacks at all. Not only in the built industry as a plastering uh, contractor, but as a lecturer to the trade. I lecture in Milton Keynes College, Hertfordshire College, um, Oxley College in Ipswich, also um, the Mount Prison in Hertfordshire, as well as returning back to my home ground, South London, and teaching in Vauxhall College, the place where I learned my trade. The, the memorable moments are seeing youngsters off the street eventually leave with a trade, but throughout the course enjoying the trade. Successfully own a number of properties, successfully own my own business. This picture here, I have uh, dug up from uh, my album. Now this is our family lineage. Uh, and I dare say among the small ones might be well be uh, brothers, elder brothers and sisters. These are moments to be treasured. This was taken, I have to have a, have a close look, but it looks like it was taken in the late 50s. This is my father's war uh, certificate. On arrival or whilst established in, in, in London, he was, he was, being a carpenter, he was asked to, his assignment was to work on the Docklands. Now, as I have been told, he was supposed to monitor all activities on the Docklands, what comes in, what goes out. Eventually, he moved to uh, the Tower of London, where he retired. Working on the Majesty's Secret Service, it was an ash-hush. In fact, I didn't realize these, as it were, certificates and how the uh, photograph existed until 1996, the year he passed away, when he decided to, yes, display these. Uh, this photograph, as we all know about the concrete cows, this was taken down by the concrete cows, myself, and if there's another, my son and I, Raymond, is also in one of these photographs. This here 
is part of the development of, um, of the football stadium. And from this angle, you can, uh, you can recognize what it's like today from this picture here. Among my, my achievements is opening up my home plastering workshops. Not only did I teach in the colleges, work on site, but I had independently a plastering workshop. This was based in central Milton Keynes. These CDs I produce while working for Milton Keynes uh, College. So on this are all my students, all the work assignments they carried out. This one says in brief, Aus Doctor. Now, in 2004, the program, TV program House Doctor, called me up and asked me whether or not I'd like to be on TV, to which I said yes. And this is a record of that series that uh, I did with them. This here, I said my, my father um, retired when I was 19, age of eight, year of age. He then went to live in, in Jamaica. Every year, he used to return at a certain time, be it June, July, or August. And I often question as to why he had to travel without fail until 1996 when he was unable to travel. And I realized he wasn't well. And upon me arriving in Jamaica to obviously be with my father, I discovered these pictures. Now this here is my father, as well as the Duke of Edinburgh. And there is an identical picture showing, again, my father and the Queen. So he was, as others would put it, he was part of the Tea Party. Again, same type of picture in a different frame showing my father and the Queen. Not but political, but he worked under Her Majesty's, one would say, service. Was he protected? <laughs> that wasn't, hadn't been disclosed to me, whether or not he was or wasn't, but he, yes, he worked as a team. In fact, at the age of 14, my brother and I used to go down to the Tower of London and uh, after school, and it, we did what any other kids would do. We'd knock on the door of the Tower of London, and the yeoman of the guard used to go, Halt, who goes there? And when we said our names, it's Cooley and John, sir, they said, oh, come on in. And we used to go down into the tower and chill with my father. So it was a, it was a great setting. Milton Keynes for me was a, a place of work, a place of opportunity. I mean, take the housing system, for, for instance. The criteria was move to Milton Keynes and in three weeks you could have a house. Move to Milton Keynes with a company and you would automatically be automatically be, be housed. I was one of those that had to find employment. So once I found employment and could prove that employment, I was housed. My hope for the future of Milton Keynes is to do for myself, to do better and better, for others to come and experience what is here. If you apply yourself, anything that you want to happen can happen here.